Hi surfers, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> I'm happy that you caught some time and came back here uh, to see what can cards tell us today. And today we will hit a topic, no contact, how do they feel, do they miss you? Okay, so this is for everyone who are currently not in contact with their person. If you are in a relationship or there's just a start of a relationship or you just like them, uh, you lost contact and now you are wondering what's up. So how do they feel? Do they miss you? Uh, again, I have here three tea lights and two chocolates, <laughs> but chocolates don't come in the selection. So choose between these three tea lights. Here I have some orange tea light and vanilla tea light and watermelon. So pick the tea light you like the most. If you need more time, pause the video. Thank you all again for watching, for sharing, for liking, for subscribing. If you do want a private reading, uh, my information is in the description box. So, let's begin! Okay, this is for everybody who picked up orange tea light. Okay, I'll put it here. So, you're not in contact with your person. Now what? How do they feel? Do they miss you? Whoops. One's already popping up. Page of Wands. Okay. Page of Wands. So, seriously, you can expect a message. You can expect a message. Page of Wands. So, some fear reaction here. Passionate message. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, if you're not in contact, you should definitely expect a message. They are thinking about you passionately. Two of Cups, they are in love, they are in love, okay, favorite message, fire message, Two of Cups, Union, <clears throat> so, not too much to say here, oh, King of Wands, more fire, more action, King of Wands. So yeah, you really could be dealing with a fire sign. Oof, there's a lot of heat. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> they've been very passionate. <laughs> they miss you a lot. Mm -hmm. And you really should expect a message from them soon because wands, king of wands, there is some serious passionate man, okay? He will come banging on your door. Okay, how do they feel? Do they miss you? <clears throat> Queen of Swords. Mm, this again means communication, but this could be you, okay? Maybe you are resisting a bit. So, like waiting. And it looks like you will give them some hard time for not reaching out. 
air sign. You could be air sign. So we do have a lot of persons here. Page of Wands, then there's a couple, King of Wands, King, uh, Queen of Swords. Um, yeah, there's been some argument. Looks like there, it's been there's some argument. But nevertheless, if you're not in contact, the message will arrive. And from their side. Queen of Cups. Okay, why do we have so many persons here? Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups. Those two are looking one to another. Uh, maybe this is you. Like conflicting. In conflict, you know? On one side you are all... Um, you are angry why they don't why they don't reach out or they just left without any explanation and on the other side you are queen of cups loving in love and you maybe you are just in a conflict what to do hmm okay let's do some explanation here Please explain to me those two queens. What's with those two queens? Sun. Okay, so this is a positive card. This is a very positive. This is the most positive card in deck. So I already had in my mind this, that here maybe there's some third person involved, but no, because uh, we ask for explanation for those two queens, and here is a sun. So this is positive, so whatever conflicts do you have, they will disappear. Okay? They will disappear, so they are missing you, they love you, and there soon will be a message. Okay? So you are dealing with some fire sign maybe, could be, doesn't necessary to be, but there is a beginning of a new love between the two. Two of cups means blessed union. Temperance, balance, yeah, okay, so... If you are in a conflict, you do love them, but on the other hand, you want to give them some hard time because of not contacting you. Um, I know it's hard, but say you have to make some balance here. Okay, temperance with one foot in emotions, in, in with one with one foot on the land, so ground it. Um, maybe you have to think about this situation. Mm, it's almost like this no contact, why they ditched you or ghost you. Um, it looks like it wasn't on purpose. Okay, maybe you, you had an argument, but it wasn't on purpose. They weren't, it was just a poor choice of words. Okay, we do have a sun here, so everything will work out well. Okay, let's see what will the future bring. They are missing you. <laughs> no doubt. 
the empress. They have some serious intentions with you. You are their empress. They see you as a mother, as a wife, uh, as a really good person, loving person, um, who has everything in front of her legs. Okay, you have the world. You are the world to them. And the sun. A big yes for you. So this orange tea light looks like you're lucky. Although this is a general reading, if it doesn't resonate with you, just move on. Maybe pick another tea light. And if you feel you are in that kind of situation, feel free to contact me and we will look deeper. Okay. Ten of Swords. Okay, so we do have some fears here. Okay, they... So they see you as an empress, but they are having some fears. Like you are not, um, like they are not good enough for you. Okay, they are afraid that you will leave them, and this is a heavy burden for them. Okay, they are re really afraid to lose you. You do have all the power. You are the empress. So conflict. Okay, this is really burden for them. Oh my god. <laughs> so whatever you had, argument, they are heavy burdened with this. Okay, you are everything to them, but they are burdened. They feel like you left. They feel like you left. Okay, let's ask for explanation for this for ten of swords and nine and nine of wands so what's here why these fears and burdens for them for your person Ace of Wands. So passionate new beginning. But they are afraid of you. <laughs> it's, I mean, these are heavy cards. Ten of Swords and Nine of Wands. Okay, fears, burden, everything. But on the other hand, for explanation, we got Ace of Wands. So there is a lot of passion here. They are trying very hard to win you back. Okay? So don't give them too much hard time. Okay? Whatever this argument was between you two or whatever was the reason that um, you are not in contact at the moment, uh, they will come back. And with all the passion, but currently they have to move on from these fears. They're, they're in fear that you left them. Maybe you just give them a little sign that you're still there. Maybe you can let, uh, leave a message on your own. Okay, let's ask Angel Tarot for advice on this whole situation. Sorry. Sorry for that. Too big cards.
Okay, advice for this situation. The wheel. A time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. And here we have our Archangel Michael. So this definitely will work out. This is so this is a lot of positive uh, positive cards here so yeah they are just your person currently is having some fears that you left them and they are dealing with this situation as passionate as they can mm, they will come back definitely this is a blessed union between you two you are their empress there is a time of positive change so if you are currently not in contact there soon there will be a positive change uh, because your person is dealing with a lot of burden and fears because of this situation maybe you can um, give them some positive sign that you are still there but not too much okay let them work so the message there will come from them, but maybe you can just a little, you know, sprinkle some stardust to give them some hope. Okay, so group number one, I hope everything will work out well with you. Take care and catch your wave. Okay, this is for everybody who picked tea light number two. So vanilla, vanilla tea light. The question today is, or better say, situation, no contact between you and your person. How do they feel? Do they miss you? Okay, let's see. Whoops. Already one out. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, here we have a man that is holding holding everything for himself so hmm. it feels like some stubbornness here and they are closed like they are mewling things over <laughs> thinking about this situation Pentacles, you could be dealing with Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, I really, <laughs> whenever I see this man, it's like stubbornness. Stubbornness. So stubborn Taurus go figure <laughs> but this is a blessed union between you two you are in love okay so we have some lovers argument here and now you are both a bit stubborn and now you are waiting for each other's move. Hmm. Okay. We need some more. Oh, okay. Oh. Six of Swords. So moving on. Hmm. Huh. Okay, this is a blessed union, but here this looks like some time off. Hmm. So here we have stubbornness and moving forward. So this could mean either that you will just move forward from this argument or whatever that you have. Or maybe this could mean that you will take some time off. But nevertheless, this is a blessed union. Here we have two of cups. So this is definitely love. 
the last union between you two. Uh, okay, explanation please for this Six of Swords. What means this? Is this just cleaning up the mess? Or we have some time off here. Yeah, but definitely there is no contact. Holding back, you know. And maybe you are just trying to move on. So let's see. Explanation for this Six of Swords, please. King of Swords. Okay, so communication. Yeah, they will try to work this out with you. Okay, so moving forward, whatever happened in this um, argument, they do love you and they will try to clean this mess. So they will they will communicate with you. They will try to explain themselves. Okay, what was wrong? What what was this all about? So they will come forward. Okay, they will try to move forward from this no contact situation they will try to come clean okay king of swords so we could be dealing with an air sign also aquarius libra uh, gemini um, okay what's next how do they feel do they miss you i feel like they are very grounded very rationalizing they're not feeling sorry for themselves, but they're stubborn, but they want to explain themselves, okay? So, no hearts and roses and chocolates here, just a rational explanation. They want to move forward with you, but with rational explanation. Again, King of Swords, okay. Seriously, air sign, a lot of communication. Communication and explanation. So yeah, they will contact you and they will try to work things out with you, but they could be stubborn, okay? They will want that their version of events um, is the valid one. Okay. How do they go? Nine of oh, ten of sorts. Uh, fears. Hmm. Although they are very sure, they're also uncertain. Okay, so it looks like they have, when they, um, <laughs> they have a plan, but then just on a sudden, they just feel like they are not capable of doing this. Okay, they feel like they are doomed, that their plan is doomed. Okay, so what's with this Ten of Swords here? Hmm. We do have a lot of swords now here. One, two, three, four. So, air sign. And because this is under these two of cups, so they're re really afraid. That this is doomed, doomed situation. But they are they are still stubborn. Um, but this King of Sword, Swords here is on is already in action. Okay, and we do have Six of Swords here, which is also moving forward. So whew, they are dealing with some fears. 
and they want to rationalize rationalize them um they do want communication i sense here some sharp tongue okay explanation for this okay two of cups okay i can't believe it so we have two king of swords and two <laughs> two two of cups okay <laughs> sorry that i'm laughing but <laughs> Okay, I do have here two different decks, as you see, and you do see me shuffling. <laughs> and <laughs> okay, so now this group two is really interesting. So this is really, you know, two cards, two same cards from two different decks. So here we have really a powerful impact, you know, so this really stands. Okay, we do have love, love. Love, love, and King of Swords, King of Swords. So this person of yours is definitely in love. You have a blessed union, but it looks like it's complicated, okay? So we do have here a lot of fear, a lot of swords, moving on, communication. So whew, it seems like this is not your first real fight, okay? Maybe is this on a regular basis, like um, you can't be together, you can't be apart, okay? <laughs> but this King of Swords is dedicated to this love, but they're afraid of this love. Oh yeah, they're afraid of this and they're trying to rationalize, you know? Um, they're not letting go. They're, um, they want to have answer to everything, you know? They're not letting their feelings to flow and enjoy in this relationship, but they want explanation for everything. Um, they are having a hard time, believe me. They're thinking about you a lot. Um, they think they are doomed. <laughs> but communication is their hard side. Okay, they are powerful. With communication, with words. They know they will talk this thing out. Okay. Four of Cups. Mm, they don't see that the solution is right in front of their eyes, okay? And again, this, like this man and this man, for me, this is, again, stubbornness, okay? This one is holding back and this one is stubborn to see, to, uh, because they, he doesn't want to see what it's been offering, what is being offered to them, okay? They're just staring to those three cups and they're trying to make out a solution from here. And they're complicating because they are king of swords and, you know, thinking a lot, complicating. But they don't see that there's an e easy solution just in front of their eyes, you know? And we do have ten of swords here, so, oh my god, they are complicating too much. Complications, not seeing. I mean, on the other, on one hand, they are rash, uh, rational, but on the other, they are complicating. Complications. Ace of Cups. Okay, again, love. So we do have cups, swords, cups, swords, cups, swords, cups, swords, and now cups. Love all over. Love is in the air. And swords are air. <laughs> cups are love. Love is in the air. <laughs> okay, you two love birds. What is going on there? I mean, because of this, swords, cups, swords, 
cups it feels like um you know swinging swinging moods or it's like one step forward one back one forward one back a lot of changings um, you know one two one two like a clock tick tock tick tock you know time is passing by but <laughs> You don't move anywhere. <laughs> hmm. So stubbornness, love, and mind fighting can be together, can be apart. Hermit. Okay, no contact, so logical. They are taking some time off to think things through, to complicate situation, to muley tower. So there will be communication definitely, but maybe it will take some time here. Uh, maybe you just have to leave them that they first find their solution and then move forward with ace of cups so that they they come back and here we have some hero fant so yeah definitely blessed union hmm And we do have two major arcanas here, so this is serious, okay? This is serious relationship, <laughs> but this King of Swords, uh, he's some hard man, complicated man. Okay, let's ask Angels of Tarot for advice for this situation. What is advice here? King of Earth, generous, professional, responsible, practical, a successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered, the middle touch. Okay, so um, so this union definitely will be successful. Uh, accept it. Everything you will touch, it will turn out in gold. You know the middle touch. So. Confidently accept opportunities, so yeah, whatever do they offer to you, just accept. Uh, because you know now they are complicated, they need some, um, you know, some kick. Okay, and everything will go well, so this is just another lover's argument. Uh, but there is a success successful time ahead of you, so everything will go well. Okay, so thank you group number two. I hope everything will work out well for you. And if you feel you are in that kind of situation and you need some more detailed reading, please contact me. So take care and catch your wave. Hey everybody, this is for everyone who picked up tea light number three, watermelon tea light. So today's question is, or rather say topic, no contact. How do they feel? Do they miss you? Okay, let's see. We had some interesting results in group number one and two, so I hope here will be also.
Ten of Cups. Congratulations, group number three. Okay, your wishes come true. You're definitely in a blessed union. You maybe even have a family already. Um, if currently you are in no contact, this person thinks a lot about you. They wish they could be together with you. Okay. This is so happy card. Okay, so what went wrong? How do they feel? They want to have family with you. They are standing with you under the rainbow. You are their treasure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so we do have some waiting here and weighing pros and cons. What should I do? What should I do? And they're waiting that the situation will be ready. Mm. Maybe they think like you need some time. Okay, if there was an argument or something or why you are not in contact, they're just waiting for something, you know, that their hard work will pay off. But they're generous. So here we have cups and two cards for pentacles. So you could be dealing with water sign or earth sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Mm. It looks like this person is very generous. But they are also weighing. Should I make contact or not? And maybe they think that the situation is not yet ready. Not mm. Like it's not that you are not ready to accept the contact from them. They are waiting, but they do want a happy union with you, happy relationship with you. Nine of Swords, they are having some hard time, they can't sleep because of it. They are having nightmares. So this situation is really eating them. Okay, they are not happy that you are not in contact with them. Hmm. They are awake at night and they think of you. Okay. So, what's there missing? Okay, once. Now we have air, water, earth. So, mix of everything almost. The sun. Okay, the most positive card in deck. So, this is a big yes for you. Oh, they miss you. All right. They miss you a lot, but but here comes the sun, so everything will work out well, you know. But first, they have to think about this. They're waiting for situation, for this idea to grow. But oh my God, here we have ten of cups, blessed, blessed, happy, happy, and here we have a sun, positive, yes, warmth energy so this is just a bump on the road but with nine of swords they are making their fears bigger than they are okay they see things negatively although they are not and here we have some four of pentacles they are hiding they are uh, holding things to themselves so they are not sharing hmm 
<sighs> so here we have six of pentacles man is sharing but this one four of pentacles is holding things so oh. Mm, it looks like they are generous, as in material, but they are holding their feelings for themselves. They are not sharing. So, please, explanation for this Four of Pentacles. What's going on with this Four of Pentacles? So, because the sun here is the central card, okay, the point is that everything will work out well. They want happy union with you. But here, before they get to this sunny position, sunny outcome, they have to face some fear. Mm, and they are waiting if there is time to move on. To make some action here. Prince of Cups. So definitely a message is coming. Uh, they will come with a flower. <laughs> you see this Prince of Cups is on a dolphin and is having a little white flower. So and the cup. There will be a message with an offer and with an apology, but they are holding back to something. It feels like they are not ready yet. Okay, if this is for all this card, if this card is connecting all those four here, they will come, but when they will be ready. Okay, they will come around with an apology and with an offer. They do want a relationship with you. They miss you. They miss you a lot because we have nine of swords here. They are really burdened. They are thinking about approach, you know, is there time yet to approach and on what way they want to make this thing right yeah two of swords so making a decision try to achieve a balance okay they have to be first peaceful they have to be in balance first before they take action okay Four of Wands, marriage, okay, again, an indicator of blessed union. So this person has some serious intentions with you, okay? They dream about and wish about happy family, happy union. And again, here we have a picture of happy couple. This means, again, blessed union, um, relationship together, even a marriage, Okay, but first they have to deal with themselves before they move forward. So there will be a message, don't worry. Page of Pentacles, another sign of an offer. Okay, they will come with an offer, maybe, maybe they will come with a proposal to you. We do have a sun here, we do have Prince of Cups, we do have Ten of Cups, 
Four of Wands, which indicates marriage, Prince of Cups and Page of Pentacles, um, messages, offers. Okay, so this looks very promising to you. Don't worry if you're currently not in contact. They're missing, but they are working on their approach to you. Okay, they are having some hard time with it. They don't know how to do, but they are waiting on the right moment. Okay, and with this guy, I think that they are not sharing their thoughts with anyone, but they are working it uh, themselves. You know, here they have whatever they are thinking about. Maybe about. I feel like they are thinking about approach, how to approach you. But they do love you and there will be a contact. Okay, could be possibly offer. They will come with an offer, with first with an apology and then with an offer of a serious relationship or even with a proposal uh, for marriage. Okay, so group number three looks like you're lucky. Let's see what Tarot of Angel has. As an advice for you. Oops, losing cards. But one popped out, page of earth. Good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, challenging a new area of study. Okay, although this is a very earthy message against Page of Earth, this is like Page of Pentacles, so definitely some offer. Be calm, be earthy, patient, definitely be patient. Um, there are some good news coming your way and not necessarily just about financial matters some good news are coming we do have a lot of messages coming towards you here and if there are some good news there should be some offer some proposal and um you will have you will want to do something challenging maybe you should get ready to accept a really challenging offer which is a positive offer okay so thank you group three if you do feel like you are in this kind of situation and you want some deeper look into it you can contact me mm, my contact info is in the uh, description box uh, thank you for watching thank you thank you for liking sharing and subscribing I hope this will be some insight for you remember uh, you do make your own choices and cards are showing just current energies. So thank you again. Uh, I hope everything will work out well for you. And see you next time. Take care and catch your wave.